Well, hello Zen fam, and all you out there who are new to the Zen fam, and those of you who have stumbled across this video and will hopefully soon join the ranks. Yes, I said ranks. I know I said ranks, but I said ranks. <laughs> hey, I'm not perfect. Which is why tonight I have to have the phone, because I have many details to discuss and I don't want to get them wrong. And you know, usually I can do it all at the top of my head because I've spent many years cramming my noggin full of stuff which is one of the reasons you come to this channel because I know what I'm talking about but tonight I gotta use the phone so get this right in the Ukraine all right there was this uh, bunch of guys and what they decided to do was they were going to be doing a bunch of crypto mining now for those of you uninitiated Crypto mining is the manner of which most people are able to obtain cryptocurrency without buying it with fiat currency, i.e. governmently sponsored monetary systems, i.e. like the dollar, the pound, the euro. Those are fiat currencies. Cryptocurrencies are basically currencies that are brought about through data crunching and basically they are not linked to a state they're not linked to a standard like say the value of gold like a fiat currency is okay so in the ukraine there's basically this warehouse and it was stuffed to the gunnels with equipment for mining cryptocurrencies basically i go through code cycling code bringing it down breaking it down and eventually making cryptocurrency that could then be traded and then be turned into actual money. You with me so far? I would bet you are because you're the same fan and you're smart and I know you are and a lot of you probably already know the stuff I've spoken but some of you might not so we have to get everybody on board. Okie dokie. So the, this uh, group of police, hang on let's get them actually right the Ukraine Security Service, the SBU, right? They busted in on this crypto mining uh, operation, and uh, they weren't tipped off by the noise. And you'll wonder why I wasn't tipped off by the noise when I get to this in a second. They weren't even tipped off by the power consumption, because apparently these guys had managed to muck about with the electricity supply. So that the local electricity service didn't know that there was this unusually large surge of electricity going to the place like 24-7. And it was a relatively large amount considering, I get this, they had 5,000 devices and most of which apparently, get this, and this is what makes part of the gaming channel, 5,000 PS4 Pros! <laughs> what? It's like, because uh, apparently they wanted to get something really, really powerful to crunch the numbers to get this cryptocurrency. And you know what? I imagined if they could probably get hold of PS5 to do it, they probably would have. Because they get that power and have that co cooling, you know? Get that. That liquid metal action, baby, uh, liquid metal action. <laughs> so yeah, it's like they went in, they got, they found all this stuff going on. Uh, let's see if there's any more uh, details I want to get about it. Let's see, discover more than 5,000 devices, racks and racks of PS4 Pros. Uh, they would, oh yeah, the company, the company they got it from, all the electricity was the now I might make a mess of this the Vinistrobo Energo Energy Distribution Company in the city of Venezia right its agency accused the operation of leaching as much as get this this is in dollars I think US dollars right two hundred and fifty six thousand four hundred and eighty four 440, 600, sorry, 648 worth of electricity from the surrounding grid. <laughs> oh 
my god, that must be a lot of power. So, like, they're knackering all this power, they're putting out all this currency. God knows how they found out. Because apparently, they, you know, they, they masked their electricity bill service. You know, they obviously fed up with their meter on a grand, grand scale. It's like, uh... But apparently, there had been energy blackouts. So obviously they must have traced the blackouts to that place. You know, it's like every time it was going up, boom, blackouts. So that's probably how they traced them down. Um, yeah, so it's just like, and there's all this stuff swirling about. It's like, oh, is cryptocurrency good for the environment because of the power loss? Oh, I don't know. And the fact of the matter is, it's not really an issue. Cryptocurrency doesn't really impact the environment that much. Yes, okay, there's power expenditure and running machines to crack the codes to like, you know, get into it to make a thing, but it doesn't really work that way. You know, there's as much power goes into making actual money, well, what we call it actual money, because when you get right down to it, when you get right to the deep down dirty truth, money, what we call money, only really has the value that is ascribed to it by people in positions that the likes of you and me can't even imagine. In fact, the money you have in your pocket right now, you take out like a £10 note, right? Let's stay on it. The bearer of this note promises the value of £10 or something like that. I can't remember the exact wording. So basically, it's a promise of value. It's a receipt. It's not even actually worth anything. We're passing receipts back and forth to each other. And nowadays, increasingly more and more and more, we're passing digital versions of those receipts. Kind of mind-blowing. But the best bit of it for me is... Uh, 5,000 PS4 Pros chugging away doing the stuff. Now that is the power of PlayStation. <laughs> incredible. Absolutely incredible. And you know what it reminds me of? Right? A few years ago, there was a bunch of PS3s that went on sale. And basically, they had all been reconfigured by the US military. I think it was the Navy. And basically, they'd all been held together to do number crunching for the the American military might. So they were all there number crunching away, doing all these calculations and stuff. And they were all running, they reconfigured them all to run on Linux. Because you could do that with the PS3 at the beginning. You could actually make it run on Linux if you wanted to. So you had all these PS3s chugging away because the because that emotion engine was a strong chip. That was a capable, capable system. So there's all these PS3s working away for the US military. And now you've got all these PS4s who are working away for the Ukrainian gang creating cryptocurrency. I can only imagine what I'm going to read about in the next, like, five to six years. Once there's, plenty, once there's enough PS5s knocking about and see what some enterprising bunch of individuals is doing with a bunch of PS5s. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? It's just amazing what humans will do, you know? And the creativity we have when it comes to doing something that we're not supposed to. Wow. <laughs> but I just thought I'd bring this story to you guys, because quite frankly, I read it on the bus on the way home, and I was like, oh God, tonight I gotta make a video about this. So, here's your headline. 5,000 PS4 Pros quite literally making people money. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys, this is going to be a short one. I love you and leave you. Look after each other out there. Hashtag support Scottish YouTubers. And of course, as always, I, nay bother. <laughs>